I thought there was going to be more goals there for, for Spurs, you know, second half. Um, totally controlled. And there was a few opportunities. Yeah. This, this game could have been totally finished. But, uh, you know, at 2-0, you never quite know, do you? I guess not. And, and they were just, I felt, slightly caught between whether to go for the jugular and to guard the back door a bit, Peter. Yeah, they didn't did, did want to concede. Um, you know, that job done in that respect. But um, I felt they could have thrown a bit more at them, you know, gone for three and four, because they were there for the taking, mm. let's be honest. Um, but they never really looked like scoring until the sort of last ten minutes. So, um, yeah, comfortable victory. I think they'll be pleased with that, and I think they can go to Zagreb knowing that they can score a goal and get through. Yeah, and hopefully everybody's all right for a fairly important game on Sunday, I've heard, around these parts. Yeah, the big game Sunday, of course. We saw Harry came with the ice pack on, yeah. but it was a, it was just a bit of a bit of a contact. He had a, a whack on it, so I don't think that'll be too troublesome. Hopefully, yeah. When the ice goes on, you're always, mm, but it came off. That's good. You should have come up here instead of your bus. <laughs> it's icy <laughs> enough up here. I could have been in the ice. Could have put my face on his knee if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no need for that, coach. No need for that. Okay, we will of course dig into all. the... First camp is Hugo Lloris with Rashmin Chaudhry. Hugo, apart from those uh, a couple of jittery moments in the beginning, it was a really dominant performance, clean sheet as well. I suppose it's the only disappointment that there weren't more goals? Yeah, the clean sheet is a satisfaction. Uh, it's a good point for, for us. Um, and then 2-0 is a good result. I think we could have uh, scored one more. But uh, we are happy with the result. It's just the half-time of the two legs and uh, we know uh, how it's going to be there. Uh, it's not done. It's not done. It's just half time. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the, the goal scored by Harry Kane. He's so versatile at the moment, isn't he? He does so much on the pitch. He could play in any position sometimes, you think? <laughs> yeah, he even uh, save a ball on the, on the corner exactly. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> no, he's just uh, enjoying the, his football. I mean, um, and as you can see today, uh, he attracted the ball. I mean, uh, the first action, uh, Eric Lamela made a uh, an amazing job. Uh, I think he, he deserved the, the goal, but unfortunately he hit the post and Harry was, uh, was there at the right time, at the right moment to, 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 to score. And, uh, and the second goal just uh, he give, uh, he gives a little bit uh, some relief to, to the team uh, before the, the second leg. It was sort of a disappointing run up until the last few games. The, you know, you won the last four and then you've got this exciting trio of Bale, Son and Kane playing together. You've got the support from Mora, Lamella um, and Dele as well, of course. How exciting is it to be part of this team now when you know that defensively you can be this solid, but you can score so many goals offensively as well? Yeah, I think we had some up and downs uh, during the season, uh, individually, collectively. But I think we, we come into an important period, a uh, decisive period, and, uh, and it's good to feel that the, the players are all ready to, to help the team because if we want to achieve good things, uh, it can only depend on the team. Uh, if we work well as a team, uh, I think uh, we will give uh, to our uh, talent uh, more, more power to... to, to, to um, He's a calm sort, but he didn't have a lot to do tonight, did he? There was just the odd moment, if that. Yeah, he didn't have a lot to do. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more from Zagreb, mm. if I'm being totally honest. But Tottenham dominated the possession. Um, you know, they had the best chances. There were a few more chances towards yeah. the end. Of, you know, and they could quicken the tempo up. They, they always looked like scoring. I just I th thought they might do a, bit, a little bit more of that. Yeah, they could have probably put the, f the, the foot to the throat, as it were, but... It, there's every chance they'll score away next week with a threat and then then it is over i think that's the key i think you know you can see spurs going away and scoring and i think that gives uh, zagreb a big big problem i think the tie could have been over i think if they'd have put gone for the throat and been really clinical yeah the, the, the three three or four would have finished this game yeah. off but uh no listen you know it's still going to be tough you go away from home in a european game any game you know you've got to earn the right mm. to get that result and um you know three would have been nice but I think that'd be uh, too much for Zagreb. Zagreb, what I've seen today. Yeah. I'm so cold, I can't say I anything. know. <laughs> it is fresh. It is fresh, it's fair to say. Listen, um, he's shuffling his pack quite successfully in recent weeks, um, but he still, I think, like anybody would, relies, certainly for goals as well as often the creativity, on the main man, doesn't he? Yeah, but that's the good thing at the moment. You know what, they've, they've won five, haven't they? And they're, they're changing things around. But the, the one mainstay is, is yeah. Harry Kane. I mean, yeah. his, his performance today, it was 
fantastic. It's, it, I mean, this this goal here obviously plays the pass. It, get, it gets cut out, um, but it was good, it was good vision, and he was looking for Son all all game. But then he just follows it, follows it the whole way in, and uh, Lamella does fantastically yeah. well. But he was uh, Johnny on the spot as he has been so many times. Oh, absolutely, that's Sid Danak, isn't it? Just to drift into an area, Glenn, and end up on in the right place. It can't be an accident, not well, that often. First half, he played most of his time in midfield. Yeah. Um, you know, but he arrives in the box like a centre forward and gets a goal like that. This is a super goal. For me, this is... When you talk about clinical finishing, he knows exactly what he's doing here. It's a mistake there. He shifts it there and he goes, it's a nutmeg shot. And he knows what he's doing and it kills any goalkeeper in the world. You, you defend on the outside of defenders as a goalkeeper. You get your angles because you think, well, he's covering that shot. Go through the legs, kills him. He cannot, he cannot cover those angles. And he, I've seen him do it so many times, yeah. Peter. No, no accident whatsoever. That mm. you know, when, it, when the goalkeepers can only cover the side that he thinks the defenders covering, waits for him to, to open his legs and just, you know, slides it through. Twenty-five goals. 16 assists. Sorry, 26. I beg your pardon, he's got two tonight. Yeah, even I'm losing track and I'm supposed to know. <laughs> I bet he knows. Yeah. I bet he knows. No, amazing. Um, yeah, it's just his all-round involvement because he creates so much as well. He's almost Tottenham's best midfielder and centre-forward, you know. It's, uh, it's amazing. You know, his, his vision, I do think Son helps him with the dynamic runs he makes you know he makes his mind up when he does drop deep yep. but he also has the awareness and knows when he needs to be in the six yard box to finish things off i think he's really enjoying the role as well i mean he wasn't like that like you know every season i've seen him no. he's never been coming this deep and hitting passes like he's mm. he's a number 10 a real number 10 if you like but he's also the striker i mean we saw him back there saving the goal as well I, I think they're getting a, a pair of gloves ready for him <laughs> going yeah, yeah, at some yeah. stage. no he's, he's been absolutely brilliant this season most effective player in, in the whole league oh, probably yeah. in Europe yeah so, I mean there's one or two great contenders this season Bruno Fernandes and so on but mm. for the positions he covers and the whack on the knee you think just an impact injury shouldn't be anything too serious that would be sore in the morning yeah. that, because it's on the bone you know but it's a kick there, there. Yeah. and that is sore he's landed on it as well from there the whole of his body weight has landed on the knee when he's yeah. just had a kick bit of ice on it get out there for Sunday for the North London derby that, that was a the problem Zagreb there when they Towards the end, they were kicking a few, yeah, weren't they? they? Were. Bale got they one, were. and mm. Don Bele got one as well, and, and Harry Kane as well. But I think that'd just be, yeah, like you say, a bit of ice. Before. You heard, obviously, Hugo Lloris, and you two were both saying whilst the game went on, clean sheet, the manager will really want that. And they, they had to dig deep a couple of times. Ben Davis and who else but Kane actually got them out of trouble. Yeah, they, they defended well. When they when they did throw, throw things at them, um, this was tremendous defending from Ben Davis from around the back post. He stuck a leg out. It was, it was great defending there, wasn't it? I, I, I think that there, that's as, as important as, as, a goal. A, as a third goal. Mm. Without any shadow of a doubt, you know, to get that clean sheet, and that's why we've we've analysed it and said, you know, they've, they've stayed tuned in. And there's Kane there. <laughs> he's, he's, he's on the spot he everywhere, is. isn't he? In, he the, is. in, in, in the six-yard box attacking. Roy Race. Yeah, and then defending again, you know? It's yeah. A, just wonderful performance from him. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. He is, uh, he is captain. Fantastic. Um, now, listen, Gareth Bale obviously rested for a large part of tonight, been very much in and amongst it in, in recent games, and glimpses again, even yeah. in the 20 minutes or so that he, he got, that uh, he's just starting to look a little bit more like the old Gareth Bale. Yeah, he really does look like he's he's back the last sort of games. It's coincided with this run yeah. that Tottenham have been on of, yeah. of winning games. Is is he's come really to the fore scoring